What's going on guys? Different video, same shirt, different day. I promise you. Uh, so we got these got mystery oil leak on my truck that I finally think I figured it out. Let me uh, show you guys where it's at. And I'll show you guys how to replace it. So underneath your valve cover, pretty thing. There's usually something that sits right here that says cover. It's 24 valve, yada yada. Here's your crank case, bre crank case breather. Well, if you look at this, it's all chewed up. And I actually had a puddle of oil leaking all the way back. I've cleaned it since. And then this one, this is your drain, which goes back into the block. This one just spits it out to the environment. Uh, so I got two new ones. The only way to replace this line is to replace the whole line. So I got a genuine Cummins one from Geno's, and I got a genuine Cummins one of this one from Geno's, which is over here. So this is the one that spits it back out in the environment called a breather tube to be honest with you but there's the part number and there's the part number for that one so this line you can see wraps and goes and disappears so let me see if I can put so that right here that's the CP3 I've already kind of popped it off but the bushing set on there so that's gonna be fun but it literally wraps around Drops down. There's no there's no harness or anything. It literally just it's free floating, but it wraps in there behind the fuel lines, behind the common rail, and goes up. Uh, it's pretty simple. So pretty much, you just undo this one. If I could do this with one hand, guys. See, it just pops off, and. Now, I should be able to pull this out one which way or another. So, I might need two hands for this. Yeah, yeah, give me one minute. Let me get two hands on this. Yep, and I got it. But see, there's a little inline filter, and there's the original part number. So, then we go over here and then match it up. And you can see they've. Uh, updated it a little bit but that's all right that my friends is how you get it done so i'm probably gonna need some needle nose probably not gonna be able to film to get the bottom one off but that's that and it just literally drains right back into the motor do you guys check this out mystery oil leak solved and you wonder why Bottom of your Cummins is oily and you can't figure out why. Check that out, dude. That's nuts. So pretty much, I believe it goes on to like this. And that's, that's all it is. Pretty soft. No straps, no nothing. There's a nice new pretty one. Um, I don't know. I sh said it fit my truck, but that's backwards. So I'm going to be a little pissed off here in a minute. Never mind. That little check valve looking thing, it was turned. We're in good shape. All right, guys. Well, see? The new line took some finagling to get in there. Because it's bendable, which is nice, and it has a lot of play in it. And it's factory bent right here which is nice so it goes down and like I said that little check ball moves and it goes right there you see that green stripe so that's line one that's the drain <sighs> took me a matter of the camera says four minutes so now we have this one which supposed to have two straps on it but like I said I'm not the previous I'm the fifth owner someone has removed the other straps so I'll show you where those are at and we'll get going with this one all right guys now I'm underneath the truck driver's side there's a starter right big old starter there's your drain line right here that thing like I said it's supposed to have two bolts on it I have one and it's 
and it's where's my finger at there, there right on top of my finger looks like about a 10 mil or a 10 mil or a 12 mil sorry bolt then there's one up top so let's get that started so you're up top again here's a drain line if you look why does it always go out of focus when I need you to be focused where are my hands at there's another supposed to be another strap but mine's just zip tied which is right behind the common rail and right behind your factory fill pump which I had the fleece but yeah you can see the strap right here where my hands at so I'm gonna cut that zip tie and get down there and remove that bolt and pull this line out all right guys so that wasn't necessarily the hardest definitely time-consuming again I'm covered in black crap there's one 10 millimeter bolt the one I showed you by the starter your best friend is gonna be uh, ratcheting in wrench because Jesus I got I'm a warrior um, but that I had two hands up there using my hands not my eyes came out it's a nylon nut so I'm pretty sure the other one the, that the guy left there that I had just zip tied it's probably a 10 mil too so all right sorry guys my phone got too hot I cleaned up my warrior mark took a break so we're back out of to get this tube in but like i was saying you need a 10 mil ratcheting for that but anyways there's i already put them on that one but there's a strap that goes here and then your factory strap other one goes here here's the original part number um it's a little different than the new one i didn't realize there's a tube so this i don't see anything no mystery leaks on that but this one doesn't really leak a lot. This is more or less just like your breather for your crank, uh, your, your crank basically. This other one that we replaced is your drain. And this one was obviously pissing freaking oil at the end of it. So, but where I put them, here's a new part number. See, they changed them up. It's a little longer, which I do like because that means it gets past the motor and it can go more on the ground than the block. This one's just a zip tie. This one's actually a clamp. But this is the one that takes that 10 mil ratchet, the only one I have mounting. I'll remount this, but you can see that, yeah, someone snipped it and everything. It's pretty ridiculous, but let's go put that one back in. It takes some finagling, guys, so be patient. Don't bend them too much, because they are plastic. But just take your time, be patient, let's get them put in. All right, my guys, my girls, and kids, and whoever else is watching these videos. We're all set here, man. I'm gonna show you how I ran these things. Oh, so, yep, you just push that on. That runs down there and it goes behind the fuel filter and then drops right behind the starter. This one goes and goes behind the fuel lines and goes right over the ECM right there. Like I said, take your time, be patient. All right, and here's this new drain line. You can see, like I said, right behind the turbo. And that white thing right there is my fuel filter, so. Yep, that's that. Like I said, it's a little longer, so that's nice. So guys, just take your time. Uh, you guys might be asking, well, why are you not just replacing that, that piece? Well, you can't replace that piece without replacing the whole line. You could probably jerry-rig it by putting a, a hose, like a bigger hose and some hose clamps on it. But you don't want to do that because that's just putting a band-aid on it and you really don't want to put band-aids on this stuff like it's leaking oil it was pretty, pretty bad you saw that hose crack. look at my injectors all that's oil from up here and all back here so i you know just do it right replace both of them the second one you didn't really have to replace but i replaced both because i didn't want them to go back ordered or discontinued nowadays so i just 30 bucks for each one i'll post the link down below but I hope you guys enjoy this one. Here's your mystery leak uh, resolution. Also, you want to change that crankcase breather about every 30 to 50,000 miles. I just changed mine, but they're like 12 bucks on Amazon. So if you need to replace that, that two eight mils, and that's it. And there's an O-ring seal. But other than that, guys, I'm out. Deuces.